Welcome to the tavern. My name's Jay, uh, playing more Armored Core PvP. I finally figured out my uh, my build. So, uh, if you watch my streams, you will know that I'm a big uh, reverse joint uh, leg user. I use reverse joints almost primarily. All three, Spring Chicken, Mind Beta, and uh, Casuar. Casuar being my favorite. And I finally figured out from like the stream on Thursday, I finally figured out how to use the build, what I need to do, my strength and my weaknesses, because for the longest time, I've had trouble with that. Sorry about that. Uh, had a bug on the wall. I had trouble with it. So like against this build, I don't think I'm gonna win because this build is a flyer and I gotta be able to like fly up in the sky. But the whole thing with my build is like, I'm gonna be on the floor a lot. And probably pelt uh, my opponent with missiles here. Because my opponent, I think my opponent wants to fly. Got him. Nope, I don't want to do that. So my opponent now is... Is dead. So, playing, I'm playing to my strengths now. Which, on the ground, I ring supreme. Re with reverse joints. His build is more suited for the air. But because he has almost no energy and I have good hops. Got him. Got him. Yeah, because I'm playing to my strengths now. Which, that was the problem I had before. I was playing to everybody else's strength and to my weakness. Now that I know what my strength is in this game, I can effectively play a lot better. And to me, that was the biggest pain point of trying to understand. And I... How I figured this out, again, in, in my stream on Thursday, I was playing against uh, Superman. Someone who is a, a good, like, PvPer who plays PvP on Armored Core in, like, many streams. So, because he helped me to understand what I needed to do, what my game plan was, which is where the hops come in. So, the, the entirety with, like, the, the jump is... I get more height with the jump, which means I can catch flyers far easier. But then I have to understand, let me sink to the floor. So my entire game plan is I play on the floor. If my opponent is a flyer, I got to do my best to like bring them down. But because they have to waste a lot of energy coming down, which right here, flyer. Which is, I believe, uh, it might be like a missile rat. But I have to understand they are a flyer. I am not. Which is where the missiles come into play. So initially I kept trying to figure out like, what do I do? What do I do? Now I know what to do and where to go about. So like right there, I can easily reach. Where are you? Right there. My biggest pain point, again, the flying. Got him. I thought I got him.
Got him. And like right there, I'm avoiding so much more because now I understand what my game plan is. It's stay on the floor. If I need to avoid missiles, I have the height. So now that I understand that, everything becomes so much easier. Like flyers become easy to manage. Because now they have to do a lot more to reach me. Got him. And again, right there. Like, I'm able to catch a flyer. And now they can't damage me because for them to hit me, they have to come down to my level. They have to be they have to be like at a at a range where I can instantly jump up to get them. Meanwhile, I jump up, most of the attacks might miss because now they're uh, ACS or not ACS, um LCS. Uh, FCS, my bad. Their FCS has to try to lock onto me because I jumped. So it has to try to catch up to me. And then I quick boost up in the air to mess with it again. Shoot a little bit, and then what ends up happening is I drop down. I don't stay in the air. I only stay in the air for as long as I need to. If I can get a stagger, I stay up longer. If I can't, drop down. It might slow down. It might like dissipate within a, a bit, but then I come down, recharge, jump back up, do it all over again. That is the entirety of what my build wants to do. I understand that, and now that I understand this, I can win more games. Even if I don't use the salt boost and the, and, the, and the kicks, I have that understanding of I can do that. So now what he wants to do is he wants to play further away from me, but I can still catch up. He still has to play within my range. I can easily change out the, the coquelettes here for um, Vientos and still perform well. And that's what it is, right? Got him. Again, you, you, you see it, right? He's trying everything. But because I can catch up, because I can instantly dodge. And this is where like the quick boost comes to play. So I have this build uses the quick boost almost entirely. And like you see you see how hard it is for, for him to like like get a lot of that big damage off. This is what I was missing in a lot of my other builds. Even on stream and other P, uh, other PvP lobbies, this is what I was missing. An understanding of what my build wants to do. Now that I have the understanding, I know what exactly what I need to do, how to do it, when to do it, and what damage I can actually avoid. Because it's getting easier to avoid damage now that I know. Stay on the ground. That's really, really what it is. Stay on the ground, you idiot. That's what I had. To, that's what I needed to do, and we're seeing like the fruits of that labor, right? He's trying everything he can to like stay out of my range, but I'm able to quickly catch up. I'm able to like exhaust their engine, their um generator, and their uh, capacity. And because I understand that, I understand how long I need to be in the air for, what do I need to do, all of that. And it's always stay low to the ground, which at this point, I might be able to actually like fight off a Noxshire. So with that understanding, I'm playing to my strengths. My opponent can't play to my weakness. Because now, even again, 
it's going to be the same thing, right? He's going to go for, like, the double handgun to try to keep me at range with the Huxley to try to get the stagger off to go for the, the songbirds. And it's going to be the same thing. I play on the ground. He's going to try to play up in the sky, but I'm going to run his generator out. We're going to watch this. Because it's like, bam. I meant to like switch that out. I might actually lose this one. Oh, nope, I win. Again, I avoid a lot of the big damage. I only got staggered once. If I can avoid damage, use everything I can to avoid the, the small damage. And quick boost to avoid the big ones. And just like play around in circles. Got him. That, that gives me a win right there. Again, even though like my AP is getting low, the fact that you cannot hit me with your big guns, you're reliant on like your FCS trying to hit me with everything else. If I can avoid a lot of damage and avoid, basically avoid the stagger. That's exactly what it is. Avoid the stagger, I win. And if I can stagger you once or twice, if I stagger you once, you're going to use assault armor. I, I actually, I had um, terminal armor before this. So there's that, but it's one assault armor, hit you, hit through your assault armor or through your pulse armor. If you have terminal armor, I have to play far, far more, I have to play better. But at the same time, it's same thing. But it's like avoid damage. I can still play within your range. And that's the entire thing that I had to learn the hard way. Now that I understand this, I'm going to take this to like other um, builds, to other um, like high ranked players. See how well that works. See if I can play into my strengths. Because again, he, uh, he, he's doing the same thing. He's changing builds because he's trying to like see how he can fight my build. And the thing is to understand how to fight my build is to figure out like what my build wants to do. So far, my build has been staying on the floor. Got him. Again, now I want to again right now. Like I'm fighting the same person over and over, but you see, you see like the difference. Instead of me fighting to like their strengths, I'm fighting to my strengths. I'm staying grounded. They're going high up in the sky. They're playing to my weak, to my strengths. That was me trying to go for the something fancy. Nah, okay. Again, that was my fault because I tried doing something fancy. Trying to like gauge distance. 
So if I didn't go for that, I could easily go for like the one stagger. Especially like on like a lightweight build, which is his. It's one stagger, get the uh, combo off. This could go either way, and I got him. Again, even though, even though, like, yeah, I'm taking a lot of damage, my AP is, like, very little, I'm taking chip damage. But I'm avoiding the big damage. I'm avoiding the stagger. If I can avoid all of that, I win. And so far, uh, I'm going to end the video here. Good game. With all of that, I've learned, fight to my my strengths, not to my weakness. I am not an airborne pilot, which is why it's a rabbit. It fights on the ground. And because it fights on the ground, it does more work on the ground. Because even, even though with an explosion, I can avoid the explosion. Why? We're actually going to go uh, into... Um, AC test because I want to see how far the quick boost actually is and we'll have to use a, a tester AC here so let's say let me see something here yeah jump like the quick boost right now is like let's, let's say this is 11 meters right like right here I jump almost like 160 meters like one quick boost is like 160 meters on the ground versus like the sky where it's just like half that right so like we'll, we'll, we'll go here and then the sky about half that maybe even like less so like about 160, almost like 200 meters with like a quick boost, a grounded quick boost, which will literally clear me of like many explosions, especially if I'm like really dodging. It clears me of like a lot of explosions, especially ear shot. And it just makes it so I'm more nimble, more mobile. I can fight you in the air if I need to. I can't do it for prolonged, but the moment I have to, I get out of the air. So that's all of that, which uh, I, again, I'm going to thank uh, Superman because without him, I would not have understand this revelation here. And at this point, I might be able to go through, um, maybe I'm still debating, um, a striker who tosses a tournament. Now I do want to try tournaments, but yeah, the missile, I'm still like iffy about, but it's like. So far, the build hasn't failed me yet. Or if, at this point, it's just let me get better, let me get better, and let me throw in kicks. Like, let me throw in those kicks. How much damage is a kick, by the way? Almost 500? Okay. And then, like, almost like a 1600 kick. So it's, like, not bad. How much life does that actually take? Oh, it's not a lot. Still. But yeah. It is what it is. Uh, I'm 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 still learning. But at the very least, I found a breakthrough of why my build was, like, bad. And it wasn't because, like, I get staggered easily. No. It was, I'm playing in the air, which I really shouldn't. So, if, if you're playing um, reverse joints... You're probably playing Mind Beta or um, Spring Chicken. But if you're playing any reverse joints, 
understand that you're playing on the ground. Your playground is the ground. You can jump up into the sky, pick them off, but then as soon as you don't get a stagger or like you're in the middle of reloading, drop to the floor. Let the, you can let the stagger meter like go down. They still took a lot of chip damage and they didn't hit you as hard. So that being said, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, if you did, leave a like, uh, subscribe, uh, follow me over on uh, Twitch, same name. Uh, I I um, stream every Thursdays and Sundays. It mostly is Armored Core, but I will play other games if need be. And uh, next uh, next video, I will be using um, Dual Nature. Try to get some uh, test runs in with like a V8 Pater to see if I, I actually want to like go through the tournament. We'll see. As, as, as of this recording, which is a, a Thursday, I still have like Friday, I still have Saturday to actually like, figure out what I want to do. So that being said, uh, get the fuck out. The tavern is now closed. I shall see all you guys later.